friends, I'm Jess and welcome to the Hex Library where I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. Today is going to be a readathon announcement. It is in fact summertime and if you know what happens in summer, that means it's time for the Summer Scare Readathon. Does this readathon change? every single time, like the date that we have it in. Yes, yes, it does. But this year we're going to be doing it in August. It is going to be from the 17th through the 25th. I can never decide with readathons if I want them to, if I want the weekend to be at the beginning or the end. Like, do I want to like front load a bunch of the reads or do I want to like have a weekend at the end to like get caught up? So I've just always decided to make the Summer Sky Readathon include two weekends because best of both worlds, you know, in the words of Hannah Montana. All of the information that I'm going to be giving you can also be found in the Hexed Annex Discord server. Um, it is linked below. You do not have to join the Discord server to take part in this. It's just a place that I have set up for um, anything that's going on on the Hex library. So if I have information about readathons or writeathons or whatever, there's information there so that you can use that. We also have a dedicated Summer Scare Readathon Instagram, which will also be linked below, and that is just Summer Scare Readathon. Those are the places where you can find the things. We also have templates that can be found on Instagram and on the Google Drive link, also on the Discord server. All that will be linked below. Everything links below. First, let us talk about the reading prompts. As always, there are nine days. We have nine prompts. This is mostly just so that we can use a three by three bingo board you do not have to read all of these prompts. You do not have to complete them all. You can complete them all with one book if you'd like to choose. You can double up, triple up, quadruple up. You can do whatever you would like to do. Also, if you think a book counts for a prompt, it counts for a prompt. I'm not policing it. It's all up to you. It's all vibes. We're just here to have fun and read spooky books in the summer. Okay, so our first prompt is to read a middle grade book. If you've been on my channel before, you know that I am a middle grade spooky queen. So, a middle grade book. Next is a book with a vampire on the cover. We always have a book with something spooky on the cover. We're going with vampires this year. The third prompt is to read a book that includes werewolves. This is specifically because I plan on reading some of the Patricia Briggs Mercy Thompson series and uh, werewolves. So werewolves this year. Also I've been kind of obsessed with werewolves lately. Uh, next is to read a horror or a thriller obvious reasons. Uh, and prompt five is to read a book with a spooky word in the title. Again, obvious reasons. Prompt six, read a book only at night. Um, this can be something short that you just want to read in one evening before you go to bed. You can read it when it's dark out. If you are afraid of reading things after dark that are scary, you could read during the day, but turn all the lights off in the room you're in and read in the dark on a Kindle or a other electronic reading device or listen to an audiobook, but still be in the dark. I'll allow that. Uh, next is a book under 200 pages because we love a short spooky book. The eighth prompt is to read a book that is diverse to you. So whatever is a diversity that you do not fall in the category of. So whether it is person of color, a disability, um, someone who's on the LGBTQIA plus spectrum, whatever the case may be, as long as it's diverse to you, it counts. And the ninth and final prompt is to read a book outside of your comfort zone. So whether you don't normally read short books, you could read something under 200 pages and count that as outside of your comfort zone. If you are not typically reading adult horror thrillers, you could read one of those and count it as outside of your comfort zone. There are a lot of things that you could count for outside of your comfort zone. I don't know what mine's going to be. I haven't planned a TBR yet. Um, I'm doing a lot of readathons in August and running one obviously because we're here and uh, I don't know how I'm going to do all of that but it is on the list of things to do. Again can use as many prompts as you want for a single book and if you think it counts go for it. We also have five Instagram prompts. These can be posted at any point during the readathon. Um, just make sure you either tag with the hashtag Summer Scare Readathon or at the Summer Scare Readathon, whichever you prefer, um, so that I can see them and share them so that we can appreciate all of the work that you guys are doing and all of the fun that you're having. The first Instagram prompt is to post your TBR. The second prompt is a recommendation for others of a book that fits one of the reading prompts. So if you've read a book before that you really loved that you think will fit one of the prompts, you should share that with us so that we can maybe pick it up too. The third prompt is your fall favorite reading snack or drink. 
Um, I feel like that one is going to be dicey depending on what's available. If you're outside of the season, you could post a picture from previous years. Or if you don't, you can draw a picture of a snack or just post a picture of it that you took from the internet. And it, it, it's fine. It's, it's absolutely fine. Um, and you can post that with your current read or without. I'm not here to judge. The fourth prompt is your readathon Bujo, bullet journal, tracker, or planner spread, digital counts. If you don't do any kind of um, tracking, you could post your spreadsheet. You could post your um, currently reading on Goodreads that just shows the book that you're reading currently. Um, you can post a note in your notebook that just like has a list of what you're reading. If you absolutely do not keep track, you can just take a picture of the book that you're reading or a screenshot of the audiobook that you're listening to. Multiple different options here. And the fifth and final Instagram prompt is an orange and black book stack. Again, obvious reasons. As previously stated, all of the templates can be found on Instagram, in the Google Drive link below, and on the Hex Annex Discord server. There is, once again, merch available on Bonfire. Please don't feel like you have to buy it. Just some people ask for it, and so it's there. It's available. Um, it is just our logo. I have some versions that are that the outlines are black so that it can be put on a lighter color, some versions that are white so it can be put on a darker color. I also have versions that are like a giant emblem and some are just a small emblem like up on the chest. There's some different options for you. Um, if you would like to purchase some merch, you absolutely can. Again, you don't have to. Um, it's just for the fun of it. Um, this is not expected to be a huge readathon. There's no like major battles going on. There's there's no there's nothing. It's just we're just here for fun and games, y'all. Make sure that you share your TBR if you post a video or on Instagram or wherever. Tag me in it or tag the Summer Scare IG account. Either way, I will find you. That sounded more threatening than I had hoped, uh, but I will find you. I will be posting a TBR closer to the date of hopefully a girl can dream. Um, and I hope to see you all out there with your scary reads. If you made it this far in the video, leave me some kind of a Halloween emoji down below. That is all I have for today. If you don't want to miss anything going on in the library in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.